Hey there, everyone. I'm Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about using the traditional exercises we get from Joe Pilates to benefit our own bodies or the bodies of our clients if you're a teacher. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new, welcome. Today, uh, I am actually filming this on March 1st. So it is day one of March Madness 2023. I have um, a kind of a bells and whistles workout for you. So uh, I'm going to start with the full hundred, especially because today is the first of March. And I'm going to add a couple uh, optional exercises you can add to your original 34 mat exercises from Joe, um, if they are available to you. So as I go through the workout today, I'm going to do the full hundred. I'm going to visit each exercise one time uh, uh, until I get to the, the exercises that are featured in this week's video, being um, the high bridge, which will come out of after the shoulder bridge on the mat. And there'll be a couple options for um, how you can do a little of that or more. And then also the headstands on the mat. If you do the headstands on the reformer, uh, kind of the same, except no reformer, somewhat the same. Uh, and that is part of the push-up series at the end. So um, let's get started. I am on the Contrology mat by Bounce Body. Um, there is a link uh, I'm an affiliate of Bounce Buy. There is a link that you can use for 5% off in the description box below. And there is uh, the blog post version of this workout with more information also included in the, in the box below. So let's get started. I'm going to start standing. I like to have both of my feet side by side rather than crossed. I'm going to reach my arms up in the air because it helps me lift my body to the, so to the sky, even though I'm descending to the mat. And then I'm going to try to lower myself with control, especially this last little part. Oh, not bad. Okay. And then here we go for the hundred. I'm going to gather all my forces and I'm going to leave my legs on the mat at first. Breathe in for five pumps and out for five pumps. Do keep count. Only 40 more. Two more sets. Last one. And then I'm gonna sit up and get the strap. I'm gonna do one roll up. I'm going to use the handles and do one roll over in each direction. I'm going to roll up, get the strap again, so I can have the strap and the handles for the one leg circle. One in one direction, one in the other direction. Change. So this mat's gonna fly by until we get to the high bridge, probably. And then I'm gonna sit up right into my rolling like a ball balance. And I'm gonna roll like a ball one time. I'm gonna do single leg pull, double leg pull, scissors. I am adding these exercises from Ramana, crisscross. And then I'm going to sit up for a spine stretch. Take a big breath in. Use your stomach. Lift your ankles into your hands. One open leg rocker. Balance with your legs together and open. One closed leg rocker. And then lie down for one set of the corkscrew, whichever corkscrew you do. Around one way and around the other way. And then I'm gonna sit up for the saw. Put as much of your spine stretch forward in your saw as you can. 
And then onto your stomach for the swan. One swan. A dive and catch. Disclaimer, I'm kind of still working on the swan and the dive. So if you do the dive, feel free. And then let's go to the one leg kick. One, double leg kick. Other side. Sit back in the counter stretch for a moment. Thigh stretch. One time. Get the strap for the neck pull. So this one repetition mat is a great way to learn your order if that is something that you're look, looking to work on in March Madness. One neck pull. One set of high scissors. High bicycle. One in each direction. And then come down to your shoulder bridge. One on each side. And then use control and be nice to your back on the way down. And here's where we're gonna put the high bridge. So you can experience it a little bit or for a little bit longer time. So the first version, we're just gonna stay up there and be happy that we made it. So I'm gonna summon all my forces. And I'm gonna stretch up to the high bridge. And then I'm gonna come down with control. Whew. So that might be plenty. <laughs> But if you get up there and you have a little extra time, we're going to lift one leg up to the ceiling and put it down, and then the other leg up to the ceiling and put it down. And then I'm going to come down. Whew. Yeah, you know what they say about <laughs> exercises you never do. They don't get better if you never do them. <laughs> okay, so now, this is going to be a challenge for me as well. Now I'm going to go up there and do what I normally would do in the shoulder bridge, which is three times up and down with a straight leg on each side. So here we go. Oh. Oh. And then after that, you can bring your knees into your chest for a little bit if it seems appropriate. And then you'll sit up for the spine twist like nothing went on. And so, yay, I survived. One spine twist. Now we're back to one, 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 one jackknife. And then one set of side kicks. So let's do um, one front back, one up to the side, one circle in each direction. And then onto the stomach to the other side. And then lie onto your back for the teaser. So we're gonna do one of all three teasers, one, two, and three. Here we go. Arms up, everything up to your teaser. One, leave your legs in the air, come right back up to teaser two. One time down and up, arms up, everything down for your teaser three, everything up. And now to the hip circle, one circle around, 
woo, <laughs> and one circle the other way. That was a lot of control. And then finish in teaser three like nothing went on. Onto your stomach again. We're gonna take one deep, full breath of swimming. And then sit back in a counter stretch. One set of the leg pull. Flip over. One set of the leg pull facing this way. Tuck your knee under. Come right to your side kicks kneeling. One front back. One bicycle in each direction. One circle in each direction. Come back to the center. To the other side. Front back. Bicycle. Circle. Come back to the center. Have a seat. We're going to do one side bend with bent legs, one side bend with straight legs. Coming up and lifting on the way down. Here's the straight leg. And sit and then switch to the other side. Up, down, up, stay up with straight legs, up and sit. Bring your legs to the strap end of the mat. We're gonna do one boomerang, one seal, and one crab. Crab. And then onto the stomach for rocking. I'm gonna do one set of the three stretches. I'm gonna come up and then rock. And come down, sit back for a crown stretch. And then over onto your back again for the control balance. One set. And then roll all the way up to standing. Turn around. Woo. I'm gonna do one set of the push-ups, and then I'm gonna do a second set to add the headstand. And you could kind of add it in any of your, if you do five sets of the push-ups. I just don't wanna add it in the last one because it's an exercise that, um, again, I should visit more often. True Pilates Confessions only here on YouTube. Arms up, rolling down, four steps out. Connect yourself to your feet so that your body moves you down, your body picks you up. I'm gonna do three. Four steps back, all the way up. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go down. And then I'm gonna place the crown of my head kind of near my hairline on the mat and still keep my body weight on my feet. I'm gonna to try to stretch my arms forward, bring my hands behind me. And then I'm gonna lift up and walk back. So that time I just stayed there for a little moment. And I found that my head could be a little bit more forward. It was, I felt like it was a little too close to my feet. So I'm gonna do one more and I'm gonna add, uh, if you can stay there in the headstand, there's a little bit of a tendon stretch that you can do going back and forth that I'm gonna try to do in the next one. Arms up, everything down. I'm gonna place my head a little bit further away so I can be a little more on the balls of my feet and a little more in my center. <laughs> and then I'm gonna come back up. So I don't have a lot of range of tendon stretch if you saw anything happening without feeling like I'm gonna fall over. So I'm gonna just work on being solid and connected in the position. 
um, as I continue to practice this headstand, fingers crossed, during the month of March. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got a little bit of a workout. Um, those exercises uh, will be a little more difficult in the scope of all the repetitions of the exercises. So visit them gently, maybe pick one to add in a little bit each time you work out this month. Any questions about any of the exercises or aspects of these two featured exercises, the high bridge and the headstands that I didn't mention, do drop me a comment below. Let's have a conversation about it. And thanks so much for watching. I could not do this without you. Have a great March Madness. Have a great workout today, and I will see you soon. Love you guys. Bye.